Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss regarding how to add notebooks and pages inside a form view in Odoo. So currently in the screen, you are seeing Odoo 15 Community Edition where we are continuing our Odoo 15 development tutorials. So if I go to the sales module, so here I have sales and if I open the quotations form view and if I click on edit button, here inside the form, you can see a section where order lines, optional products and other info. So this is a notebook and page. So in total, this section is called as notebook in Odoo and order lines is a first page. Optional products is a second page and other info is third page. So on clicking order line, you can see a bit of information over here and if you click on here it will show another information and on clicking here it will show another details so similarly we will see how we can do the same inside our hospital module so i'll go to the hospital module so here we have the hospital menu and i'll go to the appointments and i'll open an existing appointment so here we will be adding a notebook and pages a notebook and couple of pages so let's see how we can do that so first of all i'll go to the pie charm and inside custom add-ons we have om hospital module and inside the views folder we have appointment view.xml file where we have defined appointment form view so here you can see this is the form view of appointment view hospital appointment form so if i come back here and let me activate the debug mode first so i'll go to the settings and scroll down and from here i will activate the debug mode in the database so i'll come back to the appointments and if you click on edit view form you can see the form is view hospital appointment form view hospital appointment form so we will be adding notebook and page inside this form view so what you have to do you have to add after the groups group tag you can add a new key like notebook you have to can add like notebook and close it so this is how the syntax you can define a notebook just inside angle bracket put notebook and close it then inside this notebook you can define n number of pages like this page and you can define n number of one two three like you can define n number of pages so i'll keep two pages now and let me delete this so what i have done is in i have added a notebook and inside the notebook i have added a page so for adding page you have to add ankle bracket page and close so i have just added two pages now what you have to do you have to give a string for the page that it will be showing over here like we see in the sales if i go to the sales and if i open the quotation here you can see a string is shown order lines other info customer signature so similarly i will add the string as description like a doctor prescription description and for the second page pharmacy like to record the medicine details i'll just add the string as pharmacy so what i have done is simply i have added a notebook and inside notebook i have added two pages one is with string prescription and another one is with string pharmacy so let's see what happens so i'll just upgrade the om hospital module so i'll go to the ui and from the ui i'll upgrade the om hospital module so i'll click on upgrade button so you can see the module has been uh, successfully upgraded now if i try to create a new appointment click on create you can see prescription and pharmacy is coming as a notebook right now there is no content inside the page that's why it comes empty so we have successfully added notebook and page and one more thing that you have to remember is when you define a page don't forget to put a name attribute like this prescription because it will be good for inheriting later suppose in later you need to inherit or someone need to inherit our form we cannot inherit using 
string so just understand that you have to put name just give a name name prescription and i'll put name as pharmacy pharmacy and what we can do to in order to see something i'll copy some field from here i'll just for temporarily i'll copy these fields from the form view i'll put in the first page simply like this and what i'll do i'll copy this or a booking date booking date i'll put inside the second page so just i have rearranged the form so let me go to the ui and let me upgrade the module once again so you can see the module is getting upgraded successfully and if i try to open appointments you can see prescription is coming as empty i think we have added a gender field inside prescription but it doesn't seems to be up here so here you can see pharmacy the date field is coming so the string is not coming because you have to add it inside a group tag so i told you initially that if a field appears to be without a label it is because you have to add it inside the group tag so simply i'll add group and i will move this field inside the group tag so the label will be coming but why this field doesn't appear so that's the next question so i'll simply what i'll do i'll just add a group for this field also and i'll adjust the indentation so that's done now what we can do we can just upgrade the module and see what happens so we have successfully added the group to the fields so group is adding in order to show the label of the fields so if i try to create a new appointment you can see gender is coming here yeah you can see right now gender is coming and you don't have the selection because it's a related field you can see value is coming and if you switch to the pharmacy you can see booking date and you can change the booking date from here and if you click on save you can see inside the prescription tab we have gender field inside pharmacy we have booking date field so this is how you can add pages and notebooks inside Odoo. so inside a page itself inside a form you can add multiple so i'll show you one thing so let's take one more case where you need one more notebook in the same form you can put like this or i will remove this from here and i'll keep inside the here so what i have done is i have just inside first notebook i have only one page prescription or i'll create one more and i'll put the name as test test and i'll keep it as empty no fields so inside first notebook one page prescription and second one test and in the next notebook one page is pharmacy and if you need another page you can add it over here but i'll keep one only so let's upgrade the module and see so what i'm saying is that inside a form you can add multiple notebook and multiple pages inside a notebook so if i come to the appointments create appointment you can see here first notebook is coming and second notebook is coming over here so i hope you understood and if you need third one you can add it by like this you can again add so it will create third page test two so let's upgrade and see the difference so i hope you understood how we can add a notebook and pages inside the odoo so here you can see third one has been added successfully so i'll remove the extra things that i have added so in order to keep the standard view only one notebook i'll keep so control z so i'll keep this syntax and also let me do one thing control z and let me move the field to the initial position itself so i'm just control z and just rearranging so i'll keep these fields over here itself and i will leave these pages empty for now so in the later part of video we will be adding new new fields inside these notebooks and pages so until then we will be keeping it as empty so if you have any doubts 
feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us and if you like the video please do click the like button and comment and support us so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you